Alright, I'm going to fire this up for the first time and program the throttle on the speed controllers. If you don't do that, um, sometimes they just go to full throttle as soon as you connect the battery up, so you, you cannot st skip that step. So on this one, um, the, one the speed control on the left is uh, the red wire that comes out of here that feeds this, the um, receiver. The red wire that sends the 5 volts has been cut, so nothing's going to happen apart from some beeping when uh, that's connected up. This is not actually powered. So it's all going to happen when we connect up the second speed controller. Now because I'm by myself and I've got limited hands, it's just easier to run this little makeshift switch. So I want that off. Yep. So got me throttle on full throttle and connecting up the power. We should have some beeping. That's good. Let go. And that's it. Okay, now it should be ready to go. Okay. Now I've just got to uh, get the prop spinning the right way. And I've just realized I forgot to tighten that collet up, of course. Okay, collet's nice and tight now. So now I'll program the, the throttle. I don't need to ever do that again unless I change the speed controller. So it should just work normally now. Okay. Get three beeps because I've got a three cell on each side. So this side's beeping. Oh, they're actually both right. That's a first. Um, if, if either prop wasn't blowing air, so it was you know spinning backwards, all I would do is just swap any of these two, um, say choose these two wires here and swap them around. It doesn't matter which two you choose, um, and that's all you need to do to make it spin the other way.